Hello there, my friends, and welcome back to the, the to the Thousand Week Reich. I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, of course. And last time we discovered that maybe our leader here, he may or may not have really, really good health. But regardless, let's go through a few comments as we're waiting to get through our national reserve, oil reserve focus. And single receiver action. We got a couple. Oh wow, we got quite a few things done. Wow, look at that. Let's grab some more encryption. Followed by some more encryption. Followed by some decryption. And uh, better artillery. Why not? Improve shells. Very cool. So those recommended that I rename two of my divisions to the uh, SS Panzer Division Leibstandard SS Joe Mama, as well as the SS Panzer Division Leibstadt SS Albert Speer, just for the fun, funny, funnies, you know. Oh boy, the field's health declines. This, they simply cannot hide it any longer. The doctors have failed to hide the true info on the leader's health after Schmittler suffered from a minor stroke. The Führer was outraged after knowing that the doctors, doctors hid it from him and ordered an execution for all the medical staff involved, but Speer successfully calmed him down and prevented the removal of Hitler's entire medical staff. Goebbels is struggling to convince the public that all is fine, but the Führer has faith in him. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. National Oil Reserve. So here was what we're going to do. Um, I want to get through this first. The death of Mr. W. Oh, well. We're going to go do this first because I want to get to partial mobilization before anything else happens. There we go. And we can now do that. Now we have a minus 140. That's okay. So now we can also do this. Reform the bureaucracy. So we have a 60% chance of having successful reforms or a 40% chance of major backlash. But Germany's bureaucracy is a structural Frankenstein. A sinewy mass of methods and procedures all operating in both harmony, confusion, or intentional malice. It's been this way since we began structural reforms after our election from the previous Weimar Republic. And the topic of changing such has been met with a mix of support or fierce opposition. We cannot ignore that this bloated and inefficient system of bureaucracy must be reformed any longer. Protests of a few scattered Reichstag deputies be damned if Germany cannot operate an efficient method of bureaucracy, then the whole structure leads itself to become rotten and fall apart from the inside out. We must make changes at once. If we are to be swift and diligent in our operations, then the benefits will almost certainly be immediate. So, here's the deal. I tried this before and we failed. If we fail again, I'm going to double check this because, honestly, if we fail, we cannot continue down this path of building ourselves up. We, can, we can't do the economy path, which was recommended from yesterday from someone because last time I played as Germany, we did all this path on the left for like internal political matters. But on the right side, this is what we want to focus on. And we have basically have to be successful just to see what happens with balance, balance industry and completing the plan. So that's something we really, really, really want to do. If that's the case, let's grab one of these. I'd be fine. Grab one of these as well. Good. We're actually independent of needing Tungsten from other people. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. Victory for Zigarev, prominent air commander. He successfully usurped the president, Russian presidency, succeeding the resigned president, uh, Rogozin. Oh. New chapter for the Republic. Okay. I was still led by Konev, but. Um, they're ultra visionaries. Marxist Leninists visionaries. Not nationalists. Not Marxist. Well, they are Marxist Leninists, but that's a weird name, huh? And there it goes, Turkestan. Internal opposition, Department of National Surveillance, Turkestan Civil War. I still need to play as Russia. And by Russia, I mean the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics, as well as the Russian Republic. So, uh, if I, if you had a choice, guys, would you rather see me play as the USSR or the Russian Republic first? Ooh, Volkswagen's nice. Coalition with the Democrats, huh? Because they have unique focus tree, kind of as well. What would you rather see first or before? The Russian Republic or the USSR? Let me know in the comments below. We have over a million models sold of the Volkswagen. Before the rise of the Fuhrer, Germany had only cars for the rich. The common German had no money for a car. Only one out of 50 Germans had one. The People's Car. A project showing the kindness of national socialism was envisioned by the Fuhrer himself. Where he imagined a car for the German people of any economic class. A car for all the Deutsche Volk. The car was to cost only a thousand Deutsche Marks or less. Of course, during the Great Patriotic War, it was difficult to have resources for the production of the cars, but post-war they had production continued. Thusly, it wouldn't take long for a million of them to be produced and it was commemorated with a distribution of a limited number of the Volkswagen, which has a red and black color scheme and a small swastika on the door, which actually sounds really cool. So this, such limited edition models will be distributed under a raffle, which will be limited to a thousand units. Wow, that's pretty rare. I'd probably keep that and just hold on to it and just never drive it to keep it on posterity for years to come. Shining example of the Führer's care for the Germans and happy 1953. And let's see if we win or we lose. Please don't give me a major backlash. Oh, there's major backlash, which means I'm going to explore this a little bit. And if I can't change this, we'll see what happens. And I will be right back. All right, my friends, sorry about that. But here we are in which 
there's no event on screen of obviously of course but i have gotten to the point where we can select another natural focus and we were successful with the bureaucracy unfortunately we don't have the event because i did it early on using cons commands to see what happened uh but it was successful so we can continue going down our path so we shall do balance industry and i'll talk about a this a little bit more once we're done reading the focus where there is balance, there is harmony. Nowhere is this adage more important than industry. By navigating carefully and keeping both consumer and military industry in line with each other, we can achieve a truly strong economy. When one eclipses the other, there is short benefits, but eventually long-term negatives begin to show. Such was apparent in the period of slowdown in the Reich's economy before we spearheaded our far outreaching uh, economic reforms. Now the rhythm has been maintained, and the tune is, is as sweeter than ever. Equality in consumer goods has returned once more, leading to our citizens spending more, thus strengthening the power of the Reich's mark, creating its own runoff of benefits in the process. Our toiling has been well met, further showing that we can triumph under our glorious ideology of national socialism. No, national socialism once more. My apologies. Uh, so, basically, uh, I replayed the focus again and again and again, and I, I, we're making some carriers. This isn't exactly where we left off. So, I basically, I, re I play, replayed the thing a few times to see if we can improve ourselves, to see if we can... Uh, get through the event and here comes the event again for over a million mole sold cool and it kept failing so basically this is a this is a brand new campaign um <laughs> it only took a year to get to where we're at which wasn't bad at all so basically this is a new campaign actually croatia has its own unique focus tree did you know that croatia has its own unique focus tree and they lost the war against hungary so reality can be pretty harsh for them also finland decided to join our faction Finlandia Triumphant, Karelian Money Drain, Relative Agrarian Economy. I did not realize that Finland had its own focus tree. Look at this. It has its own focus tree. That's kind of cool. Finnish Defense Forces. That's awesome. So, basically, I basically had to start a new campaign. It is what it is. It could be worse. It could be better. Um, it's unfortunate, but hey, I'm sorry I couldn't show you the effects. So, the effects of the event that happened gave us 200 political power. 20% uh, more stability, as well as a special thing called bureaucratic reforms. So bureaucratic re so our reforms were successful. So this way we can actually go down our spare path because I don't want to have to end up choosing someone else like Borman because of the game. Like when I played Thousand Week of Reich earlier on, it just I'd rather just do whatever I have to do to make sure that we get to where we want to be. We'll put it like that. Uh, we don't need fuel. Turkestan has been dissolved. So long, Turkestan. Uh, Keep going, ships. Keep going. Keep training. Because I don't know how long we're going to keep getting... Look at all that naval experience. Holy cow. That's a lot more. And Thomas Dewey was inaugurated to be president of the United States. Cool. Whatever. APCs are going to load us a little bit more. Because we could probably really use more guns. But flooding and the Maktubernama. Today is the 20th anniversary of the Maktubernama. Just as people were prepared to celebrate, a flood caused by a storm hit the coast of the Low Countries and affected thousands. Lives were lost, and while Britain took the majority of the hits of the flooding, this has still noticeably damaged Germany's regional economy. However, it is no day to mourn, since people must celebrate the great day that the Fuhrer took power. The German propaganda ministry ensured that these events are purely coincidental and bear no sinister undertones. Is this a bad omen? Cool. And we got some more factories. And it's time, my friends. And also, because I basically had to replay the campaign, I, did, I still did nothing over here. So, I wanted to be as pure as possible over here. And we shall do complete Schmettler's plan. Our late Führer Adolf Hitler has grand plan for Germany's economy, labeled an idealist, albeit in secret, by the prying factions in the Reichstag. His vision was written off for another day, perhaps another time, they'd say. Perhaps maybe when the circumstances are right. But when he departed us from this world, a sense of willingness to complete his new plan grew stronger and stronger, and right, the circumstances were indeed. The economic downturn spurned the great spark to set ablaze the whirlwind of reforms, and we have reaped them in their entirety. At the present, there only lies a few remaining reforms standing in the way of finally completing the Führer's grand plan for the German nation and its proud Aryan peoples. When they are complete, there will be undoubtedly much fanfare and celebrations to come. Hopefully, I hope our, our guide survives for as long as possible. Please survive. We want that German pride. We want to feel like true Germans. And obviously, some of this is. We have. Did some of this off screen earlier, but I had to basically replay the entire campaign. Let's get some better engineers. Why not? And we're getting some more planes. Helicopters? When you guys play Thousand Week Reich, do you guys use helicopters? I've heard they're not bad, actually. I just don't think I've ever, I've ever really used them. Do you guys ever use them? Let me know. Should I use them? Let me know in the comments below, because I'm open to using them, but. Mm, we'll see what happens. Jet engines. Oh, we haven't done this yet. We're still trying to get the. Close air support and regular stuff over there. Uh, for here, I think we're doing pretty darn well. We can actually use better heavy batteries. Let's do that one. Cool. And I want to get these carriers done. Oh, actually, 
There we go. Better motorized would be nice. These carriers, they're, they're okay. We already have carrier twos here we're trying to make. Actually, I've already gotten rid of these. They're, they're okay. They're not great. They're just okay. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to make some better cruiser holes and carrier twos, which would actually be very nice. Oh, I forgot to do this too. Uh, let's see. 33 carrier naval bombers. We don't believe that in TNO, so. Prime Minister Guide Scale. Naval bombers. Naval close Uh, You know what? I'm probably just going to mess with it once we get there for realsies. Come over here. Where are you at? Oh, you were up here somewhere. Ah, there you are. Oh, there's one of these groups. Yeah, up to 90. Yeah, I don't know, man. There you go. There you go. So, carrier fighters. Uh, well, it really doesn't matter. There you go. Carrier cast, carrier fighters. The Fioro's health declines rapidly. Also, I'm sorry if I'm sounding a little soft. Uh, when I'm recording this, people are sleeping in my house, so sorry. The Fierce Health rapidly declines. With two L's and rapidly, during a typical day in Germania, the Fierce personal servants realized that he hadn't left his room for hours. While none dared enter without first, or without a sum summoning, they eventually alerted the Reich's first lady, Eva Braun, of the situation. The rooms were open inside where the Fierce was passed out. After a few attempts by the guards to wake him up, Hitler seemed to recover and quickly got back on his feet. The servants are strongly advising him to seek treatment as soon as possible. However, to do this might embolden our other leading figures in the seat to launch a coup in the repeat of 1948. I am fine. The 1948 coup will not repeat itself. No, 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 no. Of course not. Nothing bad would happen to Afiara. Nothing, nothing bad. Also, also, if you really want to know what I was doing with my, like, extra political power, because there's a lot of time, because regardless, whatever. Uh, a lot of the time, just like earlier, I was just building up infrastructure. That's all I've been doing. I've just been building infrastructure. It's not like TNO, where we can actually, like, mess around with their GDP mechanic too much. Actually, how are we doing with GDP? For a second, not bad. We're not that far behind America. For now. So, not bad. Not bad. Uh, let's see. Region-wide inter industrial integration. Oh! Uh, no! 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 No, my god! No! Why? Why? I, uh, we just needed a few more days just to get that done. Ah, uh, that hurts me. That hurts me. Oh, but we must plan the funeral. No, no, no. To organize an unforgettable event to remember the Fuhrer, the German leadership must plan a grand funeral for the world to see. This funeral must be an event that will be remembered for thousands of years and must be witnessed by the entire world to dignify our mighty symbol of national socialism and Aryan superiority. But now German leaders have put politics aside, working together as one to forever glorify their dearest Fuhrer. Get this funeral done. Oh, that's so disappointing. We were so close at getting that done. That's so disappointing. But, like most things, you can't get everything that you want done. Uh, let's see. We're going to use Castle. Probably Battlefield Support. That'd be fine. Cool. And tank-wise, uh, we could probably get some of our main battle tanks. I do want to make sure we get enough of this. The Kingdom of Sweden sends us a message. Uh, they refuse our invitation using nonsensical reasons to, de de to deny attendance. Instead, they send us an obviously heartless radio message expressing their fake grief towards the fear's tragic passing. Bowman summons the Senate. An emergency meeting has been called after the death of Schmittler. Officials debated on what should be the immediate course of action to bring Germany back on track after the sudden disaster. Reichsleiter Bormann suggested that the establishment of a Senate to secure unity within the NSDAP, handling Germany until an inter internal election to decide on the next leader. The Senate would be headed by Bormann, Bormann himself, although he sees the position of President of the Senate is merely a ceremonial role. After rounds of debating, the Senate was declared and put and transformed into the new temporary ruling body of Germany. A petty show of party unity and the White Sea was evacuated. A Kriegsmarine base on the White Sea coast is under severe threat from Bolsheviks in the region. While our assets are being transferred back to Germany, a token force of White Sea fleet soldiers and sailors are left to be in charge of a protection zone in an attempt to hold out against the Red Army tied for as long as possible. Well, that's not good. Uh, that's what happens every time. If you want to read about Heroes Memorial Day, go right ahead. And Italy refuses our invitation. Still, seemingly still disgruntled about Germany's success, the Italian government has ignored our invitation and sent us a short, heartless message, which is clearly the product of a brief draft done by the lazy Italian fascists. Ah, <sighs> shysa, 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 shysa. That's so disappointing we couldn't get down there. Uh, China accepts. Bonded by our relationship since the era of Weimar Germany, the Republic of China has accepted our invitation with its utmost respect. Chiang Wai Kuo and a group of ambassadors will attend the grand funeral and will attend several state visit activities to improve relationship with Germ between Germany and China. Very nice. And metropolitan terror attacks. Ordered by the Swiss resistance, a handful of German Swiss detonated a bomb in our factories. We were unable to capture the bombers, although we have reports of them being Swiss Germans. They are hardly discovered due to their fluency in German and ability to sneak under the radar as a normal German citizen. So, I guess it's time for position of the Wehrmacht. Now, I might make a mistake here, but 
we gotta read about the rule first. The Wehrmacht had little influence on politics during Schmittler's rule, but in this case, this rule might be vital for Germany's future. Several leading party figures have secretly held meetings with the Wehrmacht at command, trying to secure the support in the upcoming power struggles. However, the Wehrmacht holds the last decision. They can either side with the populist government, Speer and Goebbels' faction, the legitimate government, Martin Bormann's Senate, Hitler's second in command, Goring's cronies, or they can choose to stay neutral. What decision do they take? Stays neutral. We're gonna go probably with Speer and Goebbels, just in case. Uh, so, like I said earlier, I don't remember this perfectly, what actually happens here and how to get Speer and maybe even Goebbels. We'll see what happens. So, Junior Field Marshal Irwin Rommel made an appearance on national TV today. Or recently, as the Fox of Aldines, the German people admired Rommel and are relying on him for relief after the sudden death of the Fuhrer. Uh, Rommel gave a grand speech saying, in times like these, the German people must stand together as one. He also stated that if Germany bickered and disagreed on future political actions of the Reich, the nation would crumble. He urged the leadership to find solidarity and a common solution that would bring Germany out of this crisis. For a brief moment, a sense of unity could be felt amongst the German populace. A necessary distraction in such dire times. Thank you, General Feldmarschall. Glorious. And the fate of Germany. And by May, we will know exactly what's going to happen. But Braun wants to make a speech. The wife of the Fuhrer, Eva Braun, has asked the government if she can make a speech in memory of the Fuhrer's tragic death. While major national symbols such as Rommel are listed as speakers on the schedule, Braun was not planned to appear during the funeral. While some figures have argued that letting Braun speak on behalf of the Fuhrer would destroy the Fuhrer's image in the eyes of Aryan women, some have also advocated that Eva Braun is the best remaining symbol of the Fuhrer in flesh and blood, whom can serve as an effective speaker to bring Germany together. Technically, yes, well, practically, let her speak. She can only do well for our side, right? The French Revolution. Oh. Okay, that's not good. And Cambodian Democrats win in 53. Who cares about Cambodia? Where is Cambodia? I'm just kidding. It's down here. Hello. The French state. Oh, no no guys. No guys. No, 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 no. The Slavic Revolt. Oh, no. Incompetent government. Good. Strike agreements. Oh, boy. Moscow, Moscow. What are you doing? Oh, no, Moscow. Oh, is that... Was that my confederate Moscow? What the heck? What was that flag? The Association of the Freed with that. Oh. That looks really cool. But they have a generic focus fee. It's fine. Rex Commissariat Muscovine. Brown speaks for Speer. During Brown's speech in the Fuhrer's funeral, she commented on the current events occurring within the government. She voiced her minimal support for Speer, stating that he was a dear friend to the couple. Iva Brown also mentioned that with Hitler's personal relationship with Speer that close, Speer is undoubtedly one of the most trustworthy persons within the Reich. This speech alarmed certain political figures, while Speer has denied any claims that he has plotted with this event with Brown. Huh. And the Grand funeral of Schmiller. Wer erinnern? Poor man. Poor, poor man. Uh, anything else over here? Anything interesting? The Third Spanish Republic. We cannot allow such a display of hubris. Grain crisis in Ukraine from our strict demands for grain. Reports from Ukraine have detailed a living crisis. Germany should pay t close attention if any problems arise. Oh, Kami take over Serbia, eh? The F F Socialist Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. Ah, the Speer Goebbels block. Shortly after the formation of the Senate, Speer and Goebbels have formed a voting block, or uh, an attempt to dominate the Senate. Uh, Speer and Goebbels also visited and appeared before the public together. This pair of partners seem to have already secured most of the public support in such a short amount of time. Soon, some in the Senate are now beginning to feel worried about these developing threats. It is quite worrying. End of French unrest. Oh, wow. That was fast. Caucus, Caucasus, Caucasus and Chaos. They're in with it in total chaos. German resources in the direct ruled enclaves or exclaves are being evacuated. The local civil administration are now in charge of the area, attempting a last stand against the rising revolts. Wish them luck. Oh, goodness, no. No. Komikaya. Komikia. Oh, Ukraine, no. Oh, Ukraine collapse. What a mess. No, 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 no. Just give me my carriers. Oh, no. Mm, fighters. CVs. Oh, we're out of... Uh, Ukrainian insurgency. Surprisingly, their suppression tactics in Ukraine have backfired. Central leadership in Germany refuses to mobilize the Reich's military to crush its revolt, demanding that Germany let the Reich's commissariat government handle the uprising on its own. However, as one of the largest suppliers of food for the Greater German Reich, we have sent a grand expedition to assist the Reich's commissariat government and secure the grain supply. Secure the grain supply! We need food! <laughs> Kamikia has capitulated. Huh. Maybe it's Kumikia. Kumikia. Collapse of the... Oh, no, no. Oh. Bormann's condemnations. Reich's 
Leiter, ball man addressing the Senate during a meeting, has spoke about harming elements that are hidden within the Senate, and these people are jeopardizing Germany's unity. Obviously, these speeches were directed at Speer and Goebbels', Goebbels, Goebbels recent actions, with both Peer were present, though. When Bowman's speech was concluded, half of the room started clapping while the, both Speer and Goebbels' block sat silently. The facade of unity within the Senate has shattered. And it looks like we're completely out of uh, political power. Uh, attempted terror attacks. Swiss terrorists have attempted to damage our factories once again, but failed to do to effective and brutal intervention. This cannot go well. And there goes Hungary. They already beat up Croatia, but now they're getting smacked down by Romania. Oh, boy. Uh, what else can we do here? It's only 53. Oh, let's grab some smoke generators. That'd be kind of nice. Engineering. Yeah, I'll grab some synthetic aperture guidance radar, because we can. Graf is a blank glass. Oh, that's so sad. Poor, poor Hungarians. Forced to endure this calamity of Romanian aggression, even though I think Hungary was pretty aggressive towards these guys. Uh, actually, you guys have a focus tree? The seven seas. No, DNA is structure discovered. Cool. No, it's a generic focus tree. Oh, boy. Unification of Greater Romania. No guys, gone. The likes Fiore, SS, and Senate. Facing the seemingly impossible or unstoppable, po po unstoppable po power of the Spears Goba block, Martin Bormann has approached Reichsführer SS Heinrich Himmler, suggesting that the Schutzstaffel should take a more active role in Senate matters, a move that could allow Bormann to secure power and keep the Senate officials in line. In exchange, Bormann also promised Himmler a prominent role in German politics and a high position within the future of Bormann government. How did Himmler respond? Your influence from secret block? No, Himmler refuses the offer, but the SS will keep watch. Why are we so demilitarized over here? I'm not really sure why it's so demilitarized. Yeah, I mean, we're having issues, but still. Honestly, ooh, made it. Nice. If you want to read this, go right ahead. Thank you, workers. Thank you very much. We could use that political power. Actually, Hungary didn't do that badly. Sometimes when you see Hungary, they, they lose. Hungarian stagnation. Uh, also, oh, Hungary does not have a unique focus tree. That sucks. Whatever. I mean, they did not lose, like, Carpathia and Ruthenia, I guess, which makes sense why they didn't lose that. They did not lose Vojvodina. They still have Srem. So, oh, and they also have Premature. So... Hungary, even though you lost the war, that still ain't bad. We've seen Hungary do a lot worse. Albanian Revolution, a small slice of Europe has just been painted red. Well, good luck. Good luck. Oh, we're still training Catalan independence. How long will it last this time? What the heck? This is new. Social Democrats under Josip Taradeus. Who the? Federica? Wait. When? When did Spain get a focus tree? I, I never realized that they they got a focus tree? Oh, I love updates. I love when... It must be an update. It's got to be an update, right? Right? It's got to be an update, right? French state. Oh, Horthy resigns. Makes sense. Break up with Darlan. Oh, I hate... Don't you hate when you break up with your boyfriend? Wait, what? Uh, Gobo block storms out. The Senate meeting after Bowman's dealings with Himmler resulted in the SS holding greater influence in politics. However, words have been leaked and Senate officials are now aware of these underhanded negotiations, while most at first held doubts. The presence of a large group of armed SS officers in the Senate hall confirmed the theory. Members of the Spiel Goebbels bloc debated aggressively, stating that Bowman's decisions were illegal and were not approved by the majority of the Senate. During these heated debates, Bowman continued to deny any and all accusations time and time again, but repeatedly shutting down any related discussions. Frustrated by such behavior, Goebbels and Speer stormed out of the hall. While they were first stopped by SS guards, Bowman issued the order to let them pass. Many Senate members followed Speer and Goebbels, leaving the Senate half empty by the end of the day's session. Germany is boiling, with Goebbels regretting the brown shirts. With tensions growing in Germany, Goebbels is still actively making grand speeches in, to the public. But some have noticed slight changes in the latest speeches held by Goebbels. Citizens noted a significant presence of militiamen around the speech location. These men bore striking resemblance to the Sturm, Sturm Abteilung back in the peak during the German Republic's paramilitary chaos. This might be a first sign of a restarting of public political p violence for Germany. Brown shirts? Again? Another attempted to attack. We've read this before, but good work. Oh, hey, we're still building roads in Bohemia. That's not bad. Fuel. No, it's slowly going down. Maybe we should stop training so much. This Senate discontented. Oh, and Japan renounces the right to war. Let's go ahead and stop doing this. Let's go, let's go home. Let's have a good time. Go home. Go home for now. Let's save up a little bit of fuel. So, with Bowman's secret dealings performed behind the Senate's back, discontentment is now growing within the chamber. More, more have joined the Speer Goebbels faction and are now challenging Bowman. You can do whatever you need to. Bowman shall obey. 
Minus 900. Hold. We're not even getting one a day. God dang. Uh, the Civil War in Western Russia. The Reichsmarschall Nax. The political turmoil in Germany is spiraling out of control. The Reichsmarschall Goring has offered a lending hand to the Council, requesting to give the Council a speech that would unite politicians for the common good of Germania. Should the Council open the doors for Goring? Ah, close the doors. Oh, Muscovy. No. Muscovy, why? No, 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 no. Oh, engineers. Hmm. Let's grab some Flammenwerfers. Anything here? Just these guys. Oh, let's grab this. Plus more suspensions. Nice. Very nice. Uh, how about we grab some breakthrough hardness and armor? Calming the Senate. The Senate might be appeased for now, but they seem to think that the best solution for Germany now is to hold an internal election for a, a bu leader. A bu leader? As soon as possible. How should Bowman respond? We shall promise an election. The end of Muscovine. It is no more. Uh, breaks my heart. No. Muscovine. That's one of my favorite Rex Commissarias besides Ostland, Ukrainian, uh, Caucasus, and. Oh, we don't have Madagascar, but you, you get the idea. One of my favorites. Actually. Coronation of Elizabeth II. Whoa. God save the Queen. Uh, fortunately, though, at least Ostland is still under us for now, uncertain times. And Finland is still with us, which is good. The vote of no confidence, though. With Bowman accepting the demands, some Senate officials are now calling, calling for a vote of no confidence, demanding a replacement to serve as their upcoming national leader. The election was supposed to come, but Bowman didn't expect it to go this way. You want to abolish the Senate, the Bowman coup? Oh, crap. Because I'm going to make a mistake here. I'm probably going to do a fade in, fade out if I do this incorrectly. The election was supposed to come, but Bowman didn't expect it to go this way. He will win the vote. That's it. Abolish the Senate. The Bowman coup. Um, so if I make a mistake, you're going to see a fade in, fade out right now. He will win the vote. Uh, we're going to abolish the Senate. Ah, uh, Bowman coup. Overnight, Bowman has declared an end to the Senate. However, this move might give the opposition factions a great opportunity to move to dispose him. If another faction's influence grows too great for Bowman's control, Himmler might use Bowman's forceful abolition of the Senate as justification to launch a counter coup. Spion goes as Bowman. Goring. Yeah, we'll go with this one. And the bloc dominates. With Bormann out of the picture, Speer and Goebbels have finally stepped up and become the leaders of Germany. With popular support and a majority in the Senate, this faction seems to be the likely successor. However, who should be the central leader of this faction? Goebbels? Or Speer? Uh, let's see. I really want Speer in this campaign, because I will do Goebbels eventually in this mod in TWR, so... Not yet... He's, he really focuses on the offense, but we're going to go with Speer, who actually hurts us. We lose political power and stability, which is not nice. Ah, a victory. Look how happy he is. Look at Goebbels. He's so happy. It, with people, when they're happy, they can do no wrong, right? Interesting. Now, we can finally do another focus. Great. Alright, so, here, I asked you guys yesterday. Whether we should unter nehmen Valkyrie and kill, and kill off Himmler, or we should appease Himmler. Uh, now, I'll be honest, at the time of this recording, uh... I always saw so much support for both sides that it came down to the number of likes for each side's comments that I had to calculate because it got an equal amount of comments, but the influence on each comment or the number of likes on each comment I had to tally up. And ultimately, because it was so close, it was chosen that we will appease Himmler. That is the route we were going to take in a series of negotiations with the SS. It appears Bowman and Speer's regime has found a common ground with extremists. There is a way forward for these two factions that does not involve widespread ruin and bloodshed. That path is Burgundy. SS Oldenstadt Burgundy, comprising the lands of the Benelux countries and some of France's pre-war territory, will be given as a concession in exchange for the cessation of interference in the Reich's politics. Let us pray that will be enough. So, the next time, I, I want you to hold me, this, hold me to this. The next time I play as the Speer Goebbels block, please remind me that we're going to unternehmen Valkyrie and dispose of him. Or even right now, though, there is a chance even though we're trying to appease him, that uh, he won't like it if we go down with, I think, appeasing him. I forget. There's a chance that you can actually get cooed by or start this German civil war this way. But Himmler is a significant figure in the power struggle, and the safest way to secure control is to gain his support. This might be achieved if we choose to grant a large chunk of land for Himmler and his mad cultish SS to become their private playground in exchange for political support. While most would accept such a fair deal, Himmler is most certainly an unpredictable person. There is a chance we will find out Himmler's true intentions. We'll grant him Burgundy and see what happens. Okay, so, seeing the massive benefits, Himmler gladly accepted his new personal fiefdom in exchange for staying out of power struggles in Germania. 
While this might be considered a small deal by some, Himmler has also transferred Germany's Waffen SS units to Burgundy's personal domain. A price for peace and stability. Was this worth it? For Burgundy? Hmm. Enjoy, madman. German civil war has been avoided. Cool. So, Himmler Burgundy, and it's also recommended, like last episode or other campaigns, play as Himmler's Aryan Empire. I will someday. I totally will. I want to play as Himmler's Aryan Empire. That sounds like so much fun. But, let's continue. Order reestablished. The specter that haunts Germany is banished. Its power broken. Its ever seeing eyes blinded. Nothing stands in the way that Speer governs the alliance, though, and a consolidation of political forces in the Reichstag will secure our rule over the Reich for the foreseeable future. Even the Wehrmacht, famously apolitical, has sworn loyalty to us, and the remainder of the armed forces is purging itself of suspected political opponents as we speak. Glory to Germany, glory to the Fuhrer. This is not bad. Uh, ooh. Do they not have a cord? I might consider coring some of their territory, because at this point, some of this should be cored. We'll see. You know, I might just make this cord. Let me know. Should I core this? I'm pretty sure I should core this, even though it's not probably 100% German yet. I think it should still be cored for them, at least. Where do I have you guys? I have you guys over here. It's fine. If anything, I'm going to put you against... Hmm, you guys down here. Let's do that. Because I'm still training soldiers, huh? Full mission of Burgundy. Interesting concept. Emergency Council. Karl Hanka's gun. Ooh. Ooh. Hadrish. Ooh, I want to get Hadrish. He's not selectable. Germans crushing Ukraine. Ukraine will never be stable. Well, under the architect, we shall do probably more than fine. At least we hope so. Uh, let's see. Littoral Warfare. I've never looked at this yet. Trade interdiction? Littoral Warfare. What is Littoral Warfare? Is this like cruiser stuff? Carrier organization? Carrier? Capital ship? Uh, I want base strike, so I want to focus on carriers because we're using carriers. Good or bad, we're still using them, so. Uh, what are, we are we building anything? Attempted terror attack. We just read this before. Let's let it go by. It doesn't really matter. Still working on this. Taking some time. Let's get one more. Catalonia's Annex. Very cool. Very, very cool. Keep preparing now, guys. <sighs> the world has gone into a complete mess. Spare. End of the Hungarian Kingdom. Oh, no. A new republic. No, 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 no. Under Calais. Well, oh, the Ukrainian Civil War. The Golden Fields still burn. Nice. German economic influence. Volksbund der Deutschen in Ungarn. Oh, they're slowly becoming more national socialists. Nice. Anti-German military. Refugee crisis is defeated and broken. That's unfortunate. Flying formation. Nice. Happy 1953, July 1st. Gonna be New Year, New Us. Hopefully a new good time. Oh, that is sad. The Republic of Carpatho, Ukraine? I said earlier that they were doing okay because they had even this area, but... I guess not. How's Bulgaria doing? New arms agent led by Lukov. Alright, cool. No, no unique focus tree. That's okay. Ah, but Gotham Land still remains strong and alive. Oh, I love it. Local Air Force. The Republic of Finland seeks to purchase German tanks. Finnish diplomats have contacted us, requesting purchase of up to 200 pieces of old armored equipment. This might be a good way to get rid of old equipment and boost our financial position. Uh, light tanks? Political power? Sell a smaller amount. Um, honestly? No deal. We get 25 political power regardless, and same relations? Eh, we'll give them more. We don't really use light tanks, so. The Republic of... Let's see, German trucks. Uh, oh, uh, the, the, the major difference is that it's for 90 days here. This is 200 days. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Metropolitan terrorist attacks. Uh, we've already read something like this, so we'll leave it be. That's so much... We're actually losing political power every day. Oh, my goodness. And we saw bureaucratic reforms are nice, but... Great power struggle, which we need to get rid of. Arms deals cash in. Not bad. Doesn't really help us that much, though. Are we still getting more naval XP? Oh, you guys are still training. Eh, go home, guys. Go home for now. Uh, if anything, I don't mind having the subs train because that's still good at naval XP. And uh, they repair it pretty quickly. So, and it's still got 0.5 a day. That's awesome. So, Olda re established with 
the new Germany. An iron fist grips the Reich. Splendid, unyielding, ruthless. Dissidents, dissidents disappear from the street as the Gestapo begin their subtle work. A kidnapping here, a public murder there, and the voice of agitation are stilled. Voices, or voices, factories are reopening. The households return to sanity, sanity, and the Beobachter publishes jubilant messages of a golden future. All is well in Germany, long may it remain so. And we get a new, unique focus tree. Delightful. Uh, for you guys, keep going down to Italy. I don't trust Italy. Synthetic Aperture Guided Radar. Nice. Uh, Flak Panzer. We could do that. Oh, well, we did this earlier, so let's grab some improved shells. It'll be very nice. Great stuff. Let's grab some early auto loaders. Thank you very much. Very, very much. The Montero Coup in Brazil. Ooh. The United States of Brazil. Liberal victory in Canada. Okay, then. Goyce. Oh, he has a unique focus tree. Did you know that Brazil has a unique focus tree? Whoa. Now we have Spaz leader. Finally, this is what I wanted to do originally when I played as Germany the first time in, the, in TWR. Uh, looks like we can do the cooperation block. Spaz leader. Because they do have Goebbels as leader, which we'll get to eventually someday. But the cooperation block. Cooperate between high ranking leaders is important. Well, cooperation is, is important for Germany's stability. And for a man like Speer, who was always the odd one out in terms of inner politics, would certainly require assistance from others. Please don't tell me. Oh, we're still losing this stuff. Why? Oh. More terrorist attacks. Oh, god dang it. Come on, man. I want you guys to train. Uh, how's our deficit stuff? This is not looking good. <laughs> wow. Goodbye. I could give it, give this up to people, but nah. Don't feel like it. Uh, interceptors? Nah. I don't feel like it. Um, I hope this gives us more political power. Ooh. Base strike? Nice. Uh, you might as well do this one, too. Carrier primacy. Because we love, love, love our carriers. Well, actually, is China still fighting Vietnam? It's 53, September 1st. Bunker coup in Spain. Shocking. Oh, hold on. Spanish state. Ooh. Pinar. Sort out the bureau our bureaucracy. Nice. What is that? Expand tourism possibilities. That's kind of cool. Ah, uh, they're still fighting down here. Oh, that sucks. Oh, man. It was so easy de defeating the Viet communist Vietnamese of China when I played as the Republic of China in TWR, the Thousand Week Reich. All you gotta do is when they're up here fighting the Vietnamese, you just cut them off. Cut them off from the capital and that's it. You have one tank division. Cut them off. That's a little bit ahead of time, I think. So, hmm. Why not? China's fun, but I'll play as China again someday. Not sure when, though. Not sure when. So many mods, so many things to do. I love that this mod has Israel. Can I please play as Israel? I want to play. Lessons of World Wars. Oh, no. Cool. Took the terror attacks. I wish they had a unique focus tree. Association of the Freed. Um, there's there's nothing I can do. Oh, crush Swiss terrorists. Oh, prerequisites. The country has been haunted by Swiss terrorism. Not Swiss terrorist crust. Swish? Swiss. Well, we can't do this, which kind of sucks. I hope I can do this someday, because I don't want more terrorists. If anything, if they just want to rise up, please rise up so I can crush you later. Please. Oh, hold on. So what do we have enough of? Nothing. So we'll throw on some APCs. So we'll maybe change motorized artillery with APCs. Oh, actually, we get SS APCs. That's kind of cool. Didn't really help us more at all, but do that. There you go. Now it's 20 combo with. That's actually much better. Oof. Good. If you need to, currently get about 0 0.05 a day, which is not ideal. But we got the cooperation block. <sighs> And then we shall do next. Oh, oh, resuming. Yeah, let's, let's read this one first. Speer summons the Gauleiters. Mere weeks after Speer's inauguration as a new leader of Germany, Gauleiters across the Reich have been summoned to Germania for an audience with the leader himself. These Gauleiters have been issued with an ultimatum, demanding their loyal cooperation in exchange for continuing their reign, or face the wrath of the central government with no future guarantee on their leadership's safety. As part of the Speer's trickery, the exchange between Albert Speer and the Gauleiter of Westphalia South was deliberately leaked to other ministers, with Speer's aggressive and cold dialogues shattering any formal speculations of his soft-spoken nature during the Hitler era. With this, Speer has managed to establish a coalition for political stability, effectively demonstrating himself as a brutal yet efficient manager of the Reich. Stability, ooh, more political power for a while and more weekly stability, not bad, not bad. Uh, resuming reforms, tame steps, believer of Hitlerism. Oh, 
Hitler's Speer's way. Uh, let's resuming reforms. How do you his ideals? Oh. Speer will not be deterred. Hitler's reforms must be continue, and Speer will shape Germany into Hitler's image. Which I want to get through that focus first, because I want to ask you guys questions. We can do Party Chancellor Goebbels. Goebbels will block any attempts at drastic reforms. Okay, on um, propaganda arm. Recovery rate and more experience, such as losses, but sh support for Speer will increase. And let's get just one more thing here real quick. Let's do, I don't know, uh, naval stuff. There you go. Should we do this side with Party Chancellor Goebbels or Sideline Goebbels? Uh, support for Speer decreases. Goebbels is delegated to some less, lesser positions within the Reich and moderate approach. What do you think would be better, Sidelining Goebbels or Party Chancellor? I'm thinking we might want to sideline him just to really maybe go with our own way if we wanted to, which does beg the question. Uh, which we'll talk about once we get some more research going. Let's grab some of this. Rudimentary composite ceramics. Uh, so, tame steps. Oh, tame to attack. God, can I not get rid of this? Oh, Speer's project. Self-proclaimed Hit Hitlerist, follower and manager of Germany, is a pragmatist. His policies are flexible at times, but to solidify political power meant abandoning this pragmatic doctrine and choosing a dedicated path. And to, to all these ideologies, Speer needs to acquire the necessary political support, even if Speer chooses to be a reformist, moderate, or hardliner. We have low support. We need to form our own clique, which... Um... I'll be honest. Is this is this supposed to happen? I'm supposed to have small minus 1300 political power. Uh, I I am not really sure. That who? Oh. Regardless, should you do tame steps to follow Hitler's ideals, adjustment in policies, get more daily political power, long-term reformations. Oh, we complete focus Speer economics, and Speer status quo. And then we have, of course, Believer of Hitlerism. There goes those guys over there. Uh, more stability, weekly stability for a while, and more weekly war support, looks like, maybe. Yep. And then, as Hitler intended, more political power and daily political power. Wait, hold on. We get double daily political power. Plus 0.1 and minus 0.1. Uh, more National Socialism completes Speer Economics, which is over here. And the old system. More political power, reactionary system, of course. Or do Speer's way. Lose National Socialism, reforming the intelligence agency, the Reich's reform, we get actually more political power, resource efficiency, max factories in a state, lose political power, support for Speer decreases, renounces or announces reforms, reshaping the NSDAP, ooh, decreases revamping the government. Not bad. Nation like businesses. Full liberalization. Economy, economy, first policy. Oh wow! Defining Germany, strongman politics. Wow. Oh man, I'm not sure which way to go. Speer's way, Hitlerism, or tamed steps. I'll let you guys decide. Which one should we go down? Because obviously we'll probably get an event after we do this one. Uh, Memorial Day, great. Political power, awesome. Yeah, we're actually barely getting any political power. That is not good. We'll see what happens. I'll go through as much of the focus tree before trying to use any sort of console commands for anything else. Because I want to be as pure of a run as possible. I mean, the TWR, it's not a perfect mod. It might have a few issues and bugs here and there, but that's okay. You know, every every mod does, so I'm not really too upset about it, but... I don't know. Ooh, dive bombing, nice. Let's grab some uh, direct ground support. That'd be great. Oh, Shabelle, why do you have to have, be a dubious figure? What do you have over here? Ooh, leadership coalition, that's nice. But that's eventually going to go away. And then we're going to be losing... We might lose more political power than the Mediterranean Union. Interesting. Unlocks Hitler reform decisions. Oof. Weird. And we have the decisions unlocked. Oh, cool. All German construction company. Cool. Diplomatic decisions. Not much else here. So. Uh, has completed focus. Hitler's ideals. Oh, we gotta do that, and to do that, we gotta do one of these. So, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys. Should we sign like Goebbels and do party, ch or do party Chancellor Goebbels? Which one do you think? I'm pulling towards sideline, because I wanna see how far we can go with Speer. And with that in mind, should we go with, and with, if we do this, then we could do Speer's way, but I wanna know what your thoughts are, whether we do Tame Steps, 
the Libra of Hitlerism, or Spears Way. Regardless, hope you enjoyed today's weird episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below if you haven't already, and I'll see you tomorrow when we shall really veer Germany into a weird way under Spear. Thanks for watching, though, and have a great rest of your day.